Hi, my name is Linda Castronovo, and I'm the sponsor of the Warrant article to consider ranked choice voting for our local elections in Hadley. I'd like to tell you about ranked choice voting so you can make an informed choice during our annual town meeting on Thursday, May 3rd. Ranked choice voting is a simple change to the way that we currently vote. Instead of choosing just one candidate on your ballot, ranked choice voting allows you to rank multiple candidates in order of preference. This means that you make a first choice, a second choice, a third choice, and so on. If your preferred candidate doesn't receive enough support, your vote automatically transfers to your next available choice. The truth of the matter is that we rank our choices all the time, whether we are ordering ice cream or pizza toppings. But this ability to put candidates in order of preference and in comparison to each other solves some very big problems with our current system. Vote splitting and spoiler candidates result in many elections where the winner never receives a majority of the votes cast. This means that more than half the people voting supported someone other than the person elected to represent them. Is it any wonder then that so many people feel disillusioned with and disengaged from our electoral process? Democracy is supposed to be by majority rule, right? Ranked choice voting uses our natural tendency to put things in order of preference to ensure that winning candidates have broad-based majority support. More candidates run for office, more voters turn out to vote, campaigns are more positive, and voters feel more fully represented by their elected officials. Ranked choice voting is not a new idea. The city of Cambridge, Massachusetts has been using a version of ranked choice voting to elect their city council and school committee for more than 70 years. Cambridge voters elect nine council members at a time, and over 95% of voters voted for at least one elected city councilor among their top three choices. Those are some very well-represented voters. In multi-seat elections, ranked choice voting ensures that those elected have broad-based support and eliminates the need for strategic voting. Lower rankings do not negatively affect your higher ranked choices, so voters are free to rank all of the candidates in an order that truly reflects their political values and priorities. Now you've had an introduction to ranked choice voting. To learn even more, see my other videos posted on the Hadley Media website. And be sure to come to our annual town meeting on Thursday, May 3rd, to cast your vote in consideration of ranked choice voting for our local elections.